Good morning, everyone, and welcome back into North Dakota today, where we have a very special guest for you all. We have local artist Sean McCann, who is here to tell us all about Chalk Fest. Good morning. Good morning. It's great to be here. Yes, well, it's certainly great to speak with you. Okay, tell us a little bit about yourself to kick things off. Yeah, my name is Sean McCann, and I'm a professional street artist. Um, I grew up in Wampaton, and uh, this is our sixth year that uh, we are having the Chalk Fest down there. I travel, uh, I've been fortunate I get to travel around the world creating street art and murals and all sorts of fun things. And so it's it's amazing to be able to bring that kind of excitement and some of the artists back to Wapaton and celebrate the uh, art form. Yes, that definitely is very exciting. Okay, Chalk Fest, this is a pretty unique event. Can you fill us in? Yeah, we've got um, artists from all over the country coming in that we uh, have been doing for the last, this is our sixth year, like I said. Um, and so we're going to have a combination of areas that the public can join in and chalk. We've got professionals that will be creating both 2D and three-dimensional pieces that you can pose on. And then there'll also be a lot of um, amateur squares for anybody who wants to come out and join, um, including a giant mandala that that the public gets to help uh, paint in and color as well. So it's going to be a really fun time. We've also included a new 5K color run. So not only do you get to watch and see the uh, the chalk art come to life, but if you want to join in and, and do that as well on Saturday night, uh, it's going to be a fun time. Okay, how much fun. So you mentioned this is the sixth year of this event, correct? Correct. Okay, so how's the event really grown over those six years? It's been great. It's one of those things that, you know, a lot of people see these kind of art forms on the internet and the, especially the 3D interactive part of them. Um, and, you know, it looks like there's a hole coming in, you know, in the ground or something's coming out of the ground, popping out. And so it's been fun to see how people get to, to interact with those and get to see them in person. And so with the Chalk Fest, you get to actually see the artists create them during the course of Saturday and Sunday, which you don't get to do very often. And so it's something that, you know, we find that uh, as people have, have grown to love it, it's, it's grown in the audience and the people that have come from all over the region to come and check it out. And we've had artists from as far away as Mexico and, and different places like that. And, you know, it's something that people really love um, coming to Wapaton and just the hospitality that they get. And so the artists themselves, um, you know, feel like home coming here and which is which is really wonderful. Yeah. How special is that for you also being from Wapaton? Yeah, most definitely. It's it's something that, you know, so many family and friends got to see what I was doing. You know, in the previous years, they'd see photos on social media and stuff, and they always were curious as to what it was like um, in person. And uh, when the opportunity came up to be able to to start the Chalk Fest in Wapaton, it was definitely something that, that I jumped on and, and thought it would be such a great uh, activity to be able to bring back and hopefully encourage. And, you know, it's been fun to see the amateurs that started off because some of them are now semi-professionals and including like Riley Slovecki, who lives in Wapaton and is now traveling herself. And so, you know, it's great to see when you can inspire that next generation and just continue to to really, uh, you know, keep having fun with with the art form of chalk. Absolutely. Well, it does sound like a lot of fun. OK, so what are the dates of the event? The dates of the event are this Saturday and Sunday, the 13th and 14th, and we've got um, we've got lots of fun things. It's going to run from 10 to 5 both days. And again, on Saturday, we've got the color run. I believe that starts at 6. Um, and so it's, it's going to be something that you'll be able to see on Saturday, the start of the chalk art pieces, and you'll get to see the process that in, is involved with getting the sketch on the ground and getting things started. And then Sunday is when all the pieces will be finished, and you'll be able to... Uh, to see all those those beautiful, you know, finished uh, masterpieces. Okay, very exciting. So why would you really recommend folks at home to come out to this event? Well, I think it's such a unique experience, the ephemeral art form of creating on the street and then letting Mother Nature, um, you know, take it at the end of the, the event or, you know, cars will be driving over it. But it's really something that to be able to see these masters work at their craft, um, you don't get to see that too often. And, you know, we've got, um, you know, one of Disney's artists, actually, we have a couple of artists that work at Disney in the in the winter um, coming up and shocking. And, and so you really get to see some pieces that that are just next level and something that you know you'll find them at some of the major street art festivals around the world and so it's it's something that um, we love to to be able to to bring that to the to the public and have them watch and then also just really enjoy being a part of it and you know hopefully adding to the mandala and and getting their hands dirty a little bit as well 
Yes, well, very exciting. And how special to have all that right here in North Dakota as well. Okay, where can folks find more information? Uh, you can find more information at um, our Facebook page, uh, the Borderline Chalk Fest, and then also um, the Chamber of Commerce for the City of Wapaton has it on their page as well. So, but uh, but yeah, we look forward to seeing everybody. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful weekend. Hopefully, there's uh, there's no weather involved and uh, have any you know rain or anything like that. But it, it's looking great so far, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, creating some uh, beautiful artwork this weekend. Yes, we will certainly keep our fingers crossed. Well, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you for having me and, and have a great day. Yeah, thank you, you too. All right, everyone stick around. We have more to come right here on North Dakota Today.